Today I'm gonna to show you how you can enhance system reliability and safety using the Mac 16137. In this video episode, we'll talk about the Mac 16137. This is a 1% supervisory IC with over voltage detection capability. In particular, we'll be focusing on a very unique and interesting feature of this device called BIST, which stands for built-in self-test. And what it does, it allows the device to monitor its own health supervisory functionality, meaning that if something goes wrong internal to the IC, for example, reset output is shorted uh, to ground or VDD, either internally or externally, then what the device does, it asserts an output called BIS, which is an active flow output to let the system know that the supervisory function uh, uh, is uh, damaged or it's not working. To demonstrate that, I'm going to use a demo board that uh, has a fully functional Mac 16137 on it. And uh, one way to demonstrate uh, best using a fully functional uh, uh, Mac 16137 is to either short the reset output to, v, uh, to the supply or to ground. In this case, we're gonna uh, short the reset output to uh, supply or VDD and then power up the device or the board in that state while monitoring some nodes on the board with my four channel scope. Uh, once we captured, once I captured uh, those traces, then I'm gonna go through the traces to explain the best functionality. So what I have in front of me is the Mac 16137 demo board. As you can see, it's connected to my uh, scope and uh, there are several nodes that we are monitoring. Uh, uh, one of them is VDD, which is the supply input of the device. Uh, we are monitoring VMON, which is the monitoring voltage uh, to monitor a rail in terms of supervisory function. Uh, we are also monitoring uh, the reset output. Uh, and also uh, one of the channels is gonna be monitoring the best output that is over here. So let me go ahead and power up the device and then we're gonna focus uh, the camera on the scope and then we can uh, go through the traces to explain the functionality of the best. All right, so what I have uh, on the scope is about four different signals uh, that is being monitored on the board. The yellow trace is the VDD signal. That is the power or input power of the uh, device. Uh, and it goes from zero up to five volts. Uh, following the VDD is the uh, blue signal, which is the reset output. And uh, for this uh, demonstration, we have a shorted to VDD. So it's gonna be similar to VDD and it's gonna go from zero up to five volts. After that, we have the monitoring input uh, purple signal. Uh, that's the input that is being monitored or the supply that's being monitored. And if I were to zoom out, it's gonna you know, settle uh, to about 3.3 volts, which is the nominal input voltage for this particular version of the Max 16137. The last signal is the best signal. As you can see, it's gonna, it's pulling up high when VDD goes high and then it stays high uh, for some time, during which time the device actually detects that the uh, reset output is stuck high and it's not uh, expected to be high. So as a result, what, uh, what happens is that the best output is forced low to indicate to the system that the supervisory functionality of the IC has been compromised. Similar thing would happen if I were to uh, short that reset output to ground. So how does BEST uh, add value? From a system point of view, uh, uh, it actually adds another level of diagnostic into the system. Um, this is a very critical and important functionality or diagnostic level for systems that are designed to operate uh, uh, in a highly reliable or highly safely or enhanced safety uh, mode of operation. Uh, there's more information on the data sheet about uh, the IC in terms of the specs and the detailed description of each features. You can download the data sheet from our website at www.maximintegrated.com slash max16137. And thanks for watching.